And let's start with some big shoulder circles. Really exaggerate them, roll them back. Take a nice deep breath. Fan the arms up. Keep them straight. Lean to one side and the other. Bring the arms in front of you. Clasp the hands and we're going into some squats. Sit those hips back and down. Keeping the chest tall, shoulders relaxed, as deep as you can without breaking your form. Make sure your knees stay over your foot. Don't let them go forward past your toes. As low as you can, and then come back up. Nice. Just come on down to the floor. Hands right below your shoulders. Pull those shoulders back body nice and straight on your knees or one knee or your toes. We're going to hold a plank, pulling that belly button up and in towards the sky and breathe. Hold your neck straight. Look out in front of you. Now let's drop to the knees for some push-ups, lowering the body straight down to the ground, keeping that plank position, belly pulled in tight, body straight. Excellent, as low as you can, even if that's just a few inches. Hang in there, couple more. Push your hips high to the sky. Lift that tailbone and walk your hands back to your feet. Bend the knees and roll up. Shake that out. Cross your arms right over left, then left over right. Open them big in the back. Nice chest and shoulder stretch. Nice work. Take a nice deep breath and let's move on. Feet together. You're gonna sit the hips back again. Squat down, come up, raise one leg. Do it again. Squat down, arms up, leg out. Switching right and left each time. Sitting down and lifting up. And as you can see, you can lift your leg really high and move quicker or you can slow it down and not lift your leg quite as high. Whatever works for you, but either way, you're squatting down and then coming up. Try, <laughs> wobble, trying to balance yourself on that one leg, working on your stability and your core. Excellent, some side lunges. Spread those feet apart and rock yourself side to side. Hands on the thighs for support. Again, the hips are going back. Your knees are right over your foot, not in front. Yes, nice flat back. Lean into it. The further over you go, the lower you go, the more intense this will be. Nice. Now round that spine, arch the back, round it up, arch the tailbone up, and then look down around the spine. Come one more time. Stick that tailbone up, look up, and then reverse it. Round, 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 all the way up. Nice work. A couple more shoulder circles. Loosen that up. Hands behind the head, elbows wide, and just bring your knee up as high as you can, up to waist height or chest height. Elbows are nice and wide and open. You're not pulling on your head. They're just resting back there. Keeping the core engaged. And now go a little slower. Lift and pause. Lift and pause. And the arms can go out wide if you need more stability. Or they can go overhead to make it more challenging. Your choice. Keep lifting that knee as high as you can, even if that's just a few inches off the floor. Now let's go back to some quick ones. Excellent, couple more. Good, hands down, shake that out. Stand on one foot as much as possible, at least 80% on that standing leg. Tap down if you need to, but you're going to try to balance on one leg Again, arms can be out wide or overhead. And then extend that front leg if you can. 
That is optional. That is challenging. And let's get on the other leg. Find your balance, at least 80% on that leg, if not 100. Raise the knee as high as you can and kick it out straight if you choose. Remember, arms can stay out wide if that is better for you. Make sure you're breathing, please. Good, nice work. All right, arms overhead, and you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together as you pull your elbows back and down. Make fists and really pull. See how my elbows are going back as they come down? Squeeze, engage those shoulder blades. Yes, get them back, back, back behind you. Put some force into it. Give yourself some tension. Nice and strong. Squeeze, pause at the bottom. Excellent. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Squeeze it back there. You can pulse a little bit if you'd like. Keep the tension and then relax and shake it out one more time. Nice work. You're doing fabulous. Couple more shoulder circles. Just because those feel so good. It's a big step forward. We're going into some lunges. You don't have to be on a tightrope. Give yourself some distance. Separate your feet. Tilt that back hip under and drop that back knee straight down to the ground. You're going up and down, not forward. Hands can stay on your hips or clasp in front of you. Nice, just a couple more. Oop, there it is, hold down, hold down, hold down, hold it there, hold it there, breathe. And come on up out of that, shake it out. We're gonna do that on the other side. So big step, tilt that hip forward just a little, give yourself some stability. Chest stays open, shoulders are relaxed, hands are on the hips or clasped, and you go up and down. Making sure that you're going straight down, both knees bending, not going forward over that front foot, but straight up and down. Perfect. Relax those shoulders. Breathe. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it, hold it. Breathe. And come on up and shake that out. Excellent work. You've made it. Let's stretch it out. Grab hold of that back foot. Arms can stay wide or overhead or hold on to a wall if you need to. Push the knees together. Yes, excellent. Grab the other one by the top of the foot. Pull it in towards your backside. Arm overhead or out wide. Pushing that front hip. Now clasp the hands in front of you. Roll yourself forward. Drop the neck. Stretch the upper back and the shoulders. Come on up into a tricep stretch. Bend your elbow, inch those fingers down your back. Grab hold of the elbow and give it a little tug. Switch, bend that elbow, inch the fingers down your back and pull it in nice and close to your head. Nice big deep breath in arms wide, hinge at the waist, fold yourself all the way down as far as you can, a soft bend in the knees, pushing your chest towards your thighs. Alternate bending the knees right and left, and then hug yourself in closer to your legs. Big bend in the knees, roll up nice and slow, and a couple more shoulder circles just because they feel so good. Excellent.